Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about operating system structures. These are the different structures of operating system. We will learn each and every structure one by one. First structure is monolithic system. In this system, the entire operating system runs as a single program in a kernel mode. In this system, the operating system is written as a collection of procedures that are linked together into a single large executable binary program. And each procedure has a well-defined interface in terms of parameters and result and each one is free to call any other procedure. This is the structure of monolithic system in which each and every procedure is divided into three layers. First layer is main procedure. This procedure will invoke the requested service procedure means this is only one procedure it will invoke or active this service procedure second one is service procedure a set of service procedure that carry out the system call means this service procedure will perform any particular task or system call these all are the utility procedures that will help this service procedure. So this utility procedure can help this service procedure and this service procedure. So here single utility procedure can help more than one service procedure or we can say any one service procedure can take help from more than one utility procedure. So if we consider this service procedure then it will take help from these two utility procedure. Again, if we consider this utility procedure, then it will help two service procedure, this first one and then this one, that is fifth one. So a service procedure can take help from more than one utility procedure as well as a utility procedure can help more than one service procedure. Second one is late system. In this system, the entire operating system is organized as a hierarchy of layers. The first system constructed in this way is the the system now let us see the architecture or the structure of the system here the system is divided into different layers let us see one by one each and every layer first one is layer number five that is the operator where actually operator was located then after below it is layer number four user programs where user program were found on this layer Below it is layer number 3 where input output management that will take the care of input and output devices as well as buffering the information temporary. Below it is layer number 2 that is operator process communication. It will simply handle the communication between each process and the operator console or we can say users. Below it is layer number 1 that is memory and drum management it will did the memory management means it will perform memory management wherever it is required it will allocate space for a process in main memory and on 512k word drum used for holding part of process for which there was no room in memory it will perform two tasks first one is memory management that means it will allocate memory to process whenever it is required Second one, suppose in case if the sufficient amount of space is not available on main memory, then in such case it will allocate memory from 512k word drum to execute that process. Below level 1 is level 0 that is processor allocation and multiprogramming. It provides basic multiprogramming of CPU. It will deal the allocation of processor switching between processes whenever interrupt occur or timer is expired so it simply performs allocation of processor and will execute this process and will do switch from one process to another process next one is micro kernel now we have already seen layered approach that is this one is layered approach here in this architecture the user have choice where to draw kernel and user mode boundary means suppose user wants to keep this portion in kernel and all this above 
this layer all these four layers into user mode then user can draw boundary over here so in this architecture user have choice where to draw the boundary but it is better to put as much as little as possible in kernel mode because if the box in the kernel can arise then it will bring system down instantly so the micro kernel design provides high reliability by splitting your operating system into a small and well defined modules with only one module will run in kernel mode and rest of all the modules will run in user mode as each device driver run as a user process a bug in any driver or any suppose an audio driver will only cause the sound to be stopped but not the entire system the example of micro kernel are integrity k42 qnx symbian and mini x3 now let us see the structure of micro kernel here all the programs are divided into mainly two portion either in user mode or in kernel mode this portion is kernel mode in kernel mode and this portion is in user mode all the processes in this portion executed in user mode and all the process that are executed in this portion are in kernel mode here kernel contains only first one is sys that is kernel call handler and second one is clock this one is in kernel mode because it is directly interacted with scheduler and all the other processes are divided into three level above kernel is all the drivers are lies above just above the kernel level. above driver is server all the server are placed in above driver and all the user program lies above server thank you